How's it going guys? Sanitary 103. Hope you guys are having a good day. So in today's installment, I wanted to talk about MSG. Is it truly, truly bad for you? It gets a lot of negative press, a lot of negative media. So are these claims valid? Uh, MSG, for people that don't know, is a food enhancer put in food to make the food taste better, such as Chinese food and the ever so popular uh, top ramen right here. I'm actually gonna make a healthy version of this because it's a health and fitness channel. That's why I have it. But anyway, you can't read the ingredients, but it does say monosodium glutamine, and that's what MSG stands for. But anyway, not to confuse you or bore you to death, the monosodium glutamine uh, derives from a non-essential amino acid called glutamic acid. And glutamic acid is this non-essential amino acid that's found in a plethora of foods such as mushrooms, tomatoes, various fruits and vegetables. And this is a key point to remember, which I'm gonna get back to in a little bit. But anyway, the history of MSG dates back to the 1960s in which a neurochemist discovered that this MSG, when added to certain foods, made it taste better. Upon hearing this, there was a doctor who noticed that every time he ate Chinese food in particular, he started just feeling not very good. He started getting headaches, allergic reactions, etc., etc. So what he did was he went and stated his claims to the New England Journal of Medicine. And from there, that's how the MSG uh, debate sparked and conclusive studies started to take place. And the first study that looked into MSG was from a neurologist who injected uh, mice with MSG. And what they found out and reported was that the mice, um, their health was definitely compromised. Some of them were getting brain tumors. They just were having ill effects from the MSG. And from there, that's when MSG started to get a really, really bad rap. And since then, even decades later, a lot of people are worried about this flavor enhancer. That's why you often see places, even Chinese food, uh, restaurants, they'll put no added MSG because they want to bring in the uh, customers and don't want to scare them. Even though the FDA says that it's safe in moderation. So what's my whole take on this? Well, first of all, the study that was done on the mice in the 1960s, um, a lot of other people agree that it was fundamentally flawed. For one, they injected the uh, mice with the MSG as opposed to oral consumption. And what happens essentially is when you inject through the skin, it gets to the bloodstream quicker. And I'm not a doctor. This is just most basic terms just to break it down to you. But basically it was flawed because you can't inject, no one's gonna inject MSG into your body. So, you know, it's kind of comparing apples and oranges. The second fundamental problem with this study is that the amount that they gave these mice way exceeded more than the average, what an average person would do. The dose amounts for these mice was the amount that you would give to like a horse or something. But had the mice received moderate amounts of uh, MSG, they probably wouldn't have produced these uh, ill effects. So does this mean that I endorse MSG? I do not. You can actually buy MSG at the store. They have uh, bottles of MSG and you can sprinkle it all over. I do not actually recommend that at all. And that's because remember when I mentioned earlier about the glutamic acid that's found in essentially all foods, Salt is gonna be found in and make up about 10% of your diet when you're not even trying to eat salt. So you're gonna be getting some MSG even if you don't know. So by enhancing it and putting more on it and adding other salt, you're probably uh, being a little bit uh, on the dangerous side. So err on the side of caution. Be cognizant and aware of MSG, but don't go out of your way and start adding MSG to food. I probably wouldn't want to do that. That's my two cents for this video. Comments or questions are always welcome. So in quick conclusion, is MSG uh, dangerous? I like to think that with all things, if you over exceed, over consume, it can be dangerous. Use common sense. Do note that glutamic acid uh, is found in a lot of foods already, so you don't need to go out of your way and add MSG and buy the bottle and sprinkle it over your food. Do your own research and most things in moderation is gonna be okay. That's my time for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.